There we go. And the camera in the wrong direction. So uh, today we're gonna talk about Mosquito. And I don't have my iPad to check your guys' comments when they're coming in. So if I see them on the screen, I'll go ahead and answer them. But if they fly by me, I may not answer your questions right now. Sorry about that. So actually, I'm gonna grab my iPad really quick for people to show up. Only, only one of you are online. So check out Mosquito. I'll be right back. All right, I am back. Sorry about that for those that are waiting so patiently for me. Hey, Lewis, thanks for joining me. Glad you're here with us. So, Mosquito. So I got the Origins one. I got some other figures too. You can see I got Beast Man and Tila, and I have Man at Arms too, and I got my two-pack finally, my old Logan and old Hawkeye. But today we're gonna focus on Mosquito. Now, I did pull out my one from the Classics, and I just realized something about the Classics. It's kind of cool that I'm going to try and see how it works, just to, just to try out some other experiment. What's interesting is, the, the I don't have the one from the 80s, but they still kept the same boots all the way across. And that's these kind of robotic-looking boots for Mosquito, which always reminded me of the boots that they had for the, the non-produced figure that's supposed to squirt. So that would have been, I wonder if that's the legs they would have used for that. Yep, Jeff, I finally got it. Hey, Rick. Yeah, I got him from Big Bad Toy Store. Just had him as a as a pre-order for a long time. So here he is. All right, let's go ahead and look at the back of the box. So it shows Castle Grayskull, some other figures in the line, the Wind Raider. It shows some really cool box art. And uh, actually, how weird looking. It shows it wrapping around. What is it supposed to be? Mosquito drains his victims of their life force, feeding his own power. So I imagine this is supposed to be their life force, not that it's supposed to be something that's coming out of his nose, but it's more of a sucking action, which I guess is better than stabbing them in the back and sucking out their blood. Um, so let's take a look here. It shows uh, to prime fluid, pump repeatedly several times per seconds, then pump his... his then pump to fill chest, swap head for a new look. Wow, that looks like some kind of octopus head there. Crazy. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into Mosquito and check him out. So, uh, right off the bat, he's the deluxe figure, so he comes in a little bit bigger packaging. Ugh. Oh. He has an extra hand. Oops, sorry about that. He has an extra hand. He has his extra weird looking head that looks almost like some sort of a, um, it's kind of a sea creature. You don't see this thing going along the floor, you know? You know, some kind of crazy sea critter or something. And then he has this rubber piece where the pieces are super rubbery so he can uh, grasp around they show man at arms in the picture. Oh, my man at arms is losing his armor. Man of no armor arms. I can't wait till we get the official man at arms figure, the new one that has both armor on both sides, so I can replace this makeshift jamming the wrong side on the on the arm to make it work armor. All these things are loose. There we go. Let's see how that fits on him. I'm guessing that the small pieces go over the top like armor and the bottom pieces on the bottom. And there we go. That holds pretty good. And then of course that goes on the end of his nose is what I'm guessing. We'll just leave that there. So, And I'm guessing instead of shooting out, it's like some kind of sucking power. So I don't imagine it actually blasting out towards him like a laser. But more like showing the distance of uh, it sucking his venom out of there. Horde Plague. Hmm. 
Even more of Fallen Ill. Wow. This is uh, kind of gets close to home a little bit, doesn't it? So I'm stabbing my arms in the back. Ah. Yep, nothing like a giant mosquito. Of course, they have uh, the um, Buzzsaw Hordak version in the comic. They got to make sure they sell that. And he has this trusty purple gun, which doesn't make a lot of sense if he has the, the powerful nose of sucking. Let's go ahead and get him out of here. Now he's very reminiscent of the figures from the 80s from what I remember. It's kind of crazy how he kind of looks so much like them. His arms are a little skinnier than uh, we've seen already for He-Man's arms. He does have the cool boots. And surprisingly, he does have ankle articulation, even with these big old boots. A boot cut, knee band, crotch, waist. Uh, Let's see if his elbow, his shoulders move. Wow, it's a really tight joint there. Oof, oof. And then his arms move. I wonder if his arms come off. Let me take a look and see. Nope, his arms are not made to be removed. So his arms stay in place. Which, just like with the Battle Armor He-Man, I just realized his vat of blood in his chest is pretty small. Let me take a look at the back here. And, yeah, they do show it a little bigger in the picture, it looks like. But, again, they, they still show the larger armor on, uh, on He-Man and Skeletor, too. So, I guess it's just another way that they had to make it work. So, they made the thing smaller. And as you press it, you can see the ooze of blood. That is kind of cool. Reminds me of Pulsar when I was a kid. You guys remember that toy Pulsar? Probably not. But he was the same way. You'd pump his back and the blood would circulate through his body and you could see it. He was kind of like a G.I. Joe size guy. Wow, those arms are really tight. I think I just broke his arm. No, I should have heated it up first. Yep, that feels done broken inside there. That's going to come off pretty quick. Because I broke that side. Man. Well, for those of you who don't have him yet, I do suggest when you get him to use hot water and free up the joints on the shoulders before you start twisting them. Because they will break really easy as I just broke this side. You're going to see it's flopsy-mopsy now. Ooh. See? Whoop, 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 whoop. I can't believe that. Unbelievable. That's okay, Jeff. Things happen. I'll figure out a way to fix them. It'll be an, another fun video to figure out how to fix them. Now, it's crazy is how long they made the stem on this gun. You can almost put two hands on just the one stem. It's so long. And you can swap out his little fist hand. Ugh. Ugh. For an open hand. Oh, it finally broke all the way. There you go. Now you can see what the broken arm looks like and I will have to make a video on how to repair these action figures arms. Bum, bum, bum. Let's do a head swap. He could be the one that man at arms chopped off his arm, pulled out his sword and chopped off Mosquito's arm. Now I'm not a fan of this octopus looking head. It's just kind of weird looking. I actually like the robotic head better mostly because he has you know mechanical looking legs and very now if any figure should have had wings it probably should have been mosquito if you think about it i mean he's a mosquito he should be able to fly so it's always bothering me at this particular bad guy in fact very few bad guys can actually fly so his new name is one arm bandit huh <laughs> blood sucking one arm bandit all right, so let me take a look at the one from Classics from a long time ago. They did not have any kind of blood feature. This is just armor over the top of them. But I did notice they have these little arms right here, which were also used with a web store and with a buzz off. And thinking about how these attach, I could probably heat those up and pull them off and add wings. Now I have some wings I could stick on there. They're uh, 
Unfortunately, wings like that would go on a, either a bat or a dragon or something else like that. I have a red. Da -da -da, which I don't know if that would look cool or not to have the red wings on him. Because they're not really bug wings. I mean, it is kind of cool. But I kind of wish I had some uh, purplish wings that looked just like buzz-offs. That'd be cool. Or I have blue. There we go. So you guys let me know which, which thing looks better, the blue or the burgundy red on my classics figure, because he is going to get some wings. I haven't decided I'm going to give him the red or the blue. I think the red looks better, but the blue looks more bug-like because it's so different. Again, I wish I had an extra pair of buzz-off wings. That would be perfect. But I don't have an extra pair of buzz-off wings, and I'm not going to de-wing a buzz-off. Oh, that's strange, Jeff. Now we get the Nile, West Nile virus. All right, so let's go ahead and see how that works. Boop. You just stick his nose in there. And uh, that's it. Now this is obviously made to stab. It's a pretty sharp looking thing. It's even wobbled back and forth, so. That is weird. Does not stay on there very well. I got it upside down. Nope. Let's try the other nose and see how it fits on there. Oh, the other nose locks right in. So this is actually made for the organic head. So the organic head does the mutant suck power where the other head is the stab in the back head. Poor man at arms has been stabbed again. So... There you go. All right. Yeah, Jeff, you posted a lot, so I, I think it did actually post. I'm not sure why it didn't say that. So uh, I did get this guy all excited because I was going to use his cowboy hat for my real blast. But looking at the size of, of Logan's pin little head, Compared to the size of the head it needs to be to fit on Real Blast, I'm guessing that hat is not going to work. I was hoping to somehow use the duster too some way, but again, these figures are just way too small to mix and match. Kind of a bummer. So, there you go. Now, is that supposed to be the Hulk baby, or is it supposed to be, uh, um, uh, what is his name? Uh, that's DC. I was going to say that green guy that turns into different animals, Beast Boy, but I guess Beast Boy is DC, so it would not be Beast Boy. So it must be the Hulk baby or something. And I did order another Buzzsaw Hordak. It's coming tomorrow or something, and uh, I'm going to try to finally convert this leftover uh, um, Rio Blast by sanding down Hordak's body and putting the armor over it and cut it out so that it can actually close inside there I was gonna do it years ago. But I never really had the, the gumption to make it work But I think this time I'm gonna try to make it work So that's my goal is to get this on that and be able to actually open it up and have a hole here Where the gun can slide up inside of it. We'll see if that works or not And another project I have now is my custom beast man He's going to become a 2000X Beast Man once he's done. Hopefully that's the plan. So that is some things I'll be working on for a while. All right, let's check out your comments. Hulk baby. Impossible unless Hulk and she got her on. Well, maybe maybe went back in time and stole him. I don't know. Yeah, it still wouldn't make sense because there was no baby back because it was Bruce Banner. No clue what the deal is there. And besides that, I don't think it could be the Incredible Hulk and She-Hulk because they are cousins. And that would be kind of weird. So maybe it's just the Hulk with somebody else. Maybe maybe the, the Hulk and Black Widow. Which wouldn't work either because then the baby would probably destroy Black Widow. So it'd have to be the super, but have to be the mom. So it'd have to be She-Hulk and somebody, I guess. I don't know. They did an Old Man Logan. Yep. Check it out. And an Old Man Hawkeye. It is kind of a cool set. 
Oh, Rick. Yeah, man, you're scaring me. So, if you have not seen my video yet, I have finally finished uh, him. And I'm pretty happy with the results. I actually went and made a 3D gun. And in the video, I actually show how I made this. So, if you want to check it out and see the video, it's like 10 minutes long. And it shows all the final details I did to fix him, including uh, sanding his head out so it would fit on the body better. So... There you go. So if you want to check out that video, it's 10 minutes long. It was, it was posted last night. No, I mean Hulk and She-Hulk got her on in Old Man Logan. Okay. I don't know. That would be really messed up. Maybe it is She-Hulk in Old Man Logan. Anyway, so that's all I got for now. Um, I do have some of the figures to open here later today. It stinks. I just loaned out my Dremel tool, my heat gun, because uh, I was going to uh, make this gun fit in his hand by adding two coats of heat shrink to it so it fit in his hand because I wanted to give him a rifle too of some sort. But that's okay. I should get it back in a couple days and have it done by this weekend. So I'm not going to start to work on my beast man until I get that until I get my Dremel tool back either. So someone, someone I know is making a really cool Batman. I'm sorry, Batgirl costume, and uh, they needed to work on the helmet, and it sounds pretty cool. I'm really excited to see what their helmet comes out looking like. Yes, Doctor Banner was an adult when he got the radiation, so I'm not sure exactly. Maybe the Hulk got reverted back to a baby through some sort of weird mutation thing or something, or maybe maybe a chunk of him fell off and turned into a baby. Who knows, right? Still no mechanic. All right. Okay, warning to everybody. Don't break your mosquito when you get him. His arm will shear right off when you go to twist it. So you have to be careful. And I will be showing a video later maybe on how to fix this situation. Um, I don't know. I may end up just sending it back to Big Bad Toy Store because it should not break that easy. Being they made it that tight, that really stinks. So I may not fix them. I'm still debating. I might just send them back and say, hey, you guys, this thing broke way too easy. Maybe even, even send in the video showing how easy it broke. All right. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. I barely breathe on my Origins toys. And they break? Yep, Jeff, I think it's a defect too. All right, like, subscribe, tell your friends. I will see you guys next video. And I might have an, another one today. I'm not sure. We'll see. So, look at that little cool Castle Grayskull. Bump, bump, bump. The Castle of Power. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye now.